This little rig here is doing the same sort of thing as our setup on the Arduino Uno, except it's got some additional features. For one, it's got this M0 processor, a much more powerful processor than the 328 on the Uno, and it's got an SD card where it can record some values. In addition, instead of just having one TMP36 here, it's got a row of six of them so that we've got six independent measurements of the temperature and they're collected into the six different analog ports. Finally, because it's got battery connection power here, I can connect this battery to it and I can operate it independently of the computer so I can take this whole rig and record data continuously while I move it to different locations without having to carry along a USB power supply with me. This is another Arduino sketch. This one's called 6Temp, and it's for reading the six different TMP36 temperatures from that M0 uh, microcontroller. So it's set up, and it does essentially the same as the other sketch, except there's some more details involved to manage the SD card and so on. But just to give an overview, we go through the setup and start the serial port, and then we set our analog reference and analog read resolution because the M0 has a higher resolution. It's got a 12-bit resolution, so it can separate our analog values into 4,095 different possible uh, uh, steps. Uh, then it goes and looks and uh, sets up a, uh, a CSV file on the SD card that it can record the data to. And finally, prints some headings on the SD card file. Then we get down to the loop and it's doing a lot of the same things with uh, an analog value for the temperature, a voltage, and a temperature, but this time it's an array of six values for each of them. It goes through and it gets a value from analog read, calculates the voltage the same way, and calculates the temperature the same way. Down here it's doing the printing that it needs to do to the serial output and to the log file. So let's compile it and see what happens. I'll get the serial monitor up here, and bring it into frame so that we can see it. Oh, that scanned by really quickly. Let's look back up here it told us what it was, and it told us that it was logging to this file, 6tmp0015.csv, so we can pull that in later from the, uh, the SD card. And it's printing out time and temperature values for all six of the different components.